Hi, this is Bonnie Ribeiro with Prey House Gifts, and we're so glad you've joined us for the Aging Gracefully Challenge. We are on day 21 of our mission to age the way God says we can age. And today we're going to take a look at staying attractive physically, and we're going to look at Sarah and see how she did it. So um, Sarah was Abraham's wife, and she was so beautiful that even though she was over 65 years old, there were two kings who were ready to kill for her. One was Pharaoh in Genesis 12. The other one was Abimelech in Genesis 20. Um, and her husband, in fear of the kings and in fear for his life, went ahead and gave her to the kings. So God worked it all out. But we'll look at that story today. Um, in 1 Peter 3, 4 through 6, we actually see what Sarah's beauty secrets were. So let's look at that and learn from Sarah. Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging your hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are if you do good. So the thing about the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty is it doesn't fade as we age. And evidently Sarah was so beautiful that um, her beauty did not fade as she aged. She was first of all beautiful to God with a gentle submissive spirit and then God made her beautiful to man. Her face and her figure actually reflected her soul's beauty. And don't we all want that? Now, in a rebellious culture like the one we live in, the concept of submitting to authority will meet with resistance, and it may meet resi in resistance to us. But God says we should submit to whoever is placed in authority over us if what they require doesn't contradict what God says. So in addition to submitting to our husbands, uh, submitting to our bosses at work is a good idea. Submitting to a policeman, if he pulls you over, that's a good idea. And one of the reasons God may hate rebellion so much is that there was already one rebellion in heaven. It was Satan's beauty that led to his pride, that led to rebellion. And you can read this in Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. So God is not having any more rebellions, rebellions in heaven. And a submissive spirit is the beauty standard for God. Now, the interesting thing about beauty too, we you know see how it was used negatively in Satan's case, but God can use beauty in a positive way too. Sarah, actually, her beauty increased Abraham's prestige, even though it did make him fear for his life. In the book of Esther, God uses a beautiful woman to influence a powerful man and to save her nation. In Job 42, God uses Job's daughter's beauty to reflect well on Job and to comfort him in the loss of his children previously. So our challenge for day 21 is to submit to every person who's in authority over you, your husband, your boss, everyone. And tomorrow, we may look a lot better if we do that. And the, uh, tomorrow, we're also going to be look at staying physically attractive as we age. We'll take a look at plastic surgery. There's some principles that we can apply from God's Word, as well as facial exercises, derma rollers, and massages. So check back tomorrow and we'll have more to say about beauty. But today we're working on inner beauty.